story time about how I went on a girl's trip and I found out my ex that I was with for a year was on his honeymoon. So me and my homegirls ended up going on a girl's trip and I was in a relationship with this dude for about a year, right? And we had met out or whatever, just I was at dinner, he approached me or whatever, we was at the bar and we were talking or whatever and he had ended up getting my number and we had just exchanged numbers like that or whatever, right? So we had ended up like, once we locked in, ain't no switching up. I love you, like, it's serious or whatever. So I go on a girl's trip with my homegirls and we go to Mexico communicating like we're not talking like that because we're in a di- I'm in a different country right we're on different like so we're not communicating like that like I'm having fun like just FaceTimes in the morning just our regular shit the third day I don't talk to him then whatever I'm not tripping he'll text me he's probably in a work meeting but I'm not thinking nothing of it but we getting up in the morning we go on excursions we book it through the hotel but they're coming to pick us up so you know on some excursions they go to different hotels so we're like the last hotel stop for them to pick up y'all while i walk on the bus and when i walk on the bus i see like it's this lady she's sitting up she's real pretty she got curly hair but like her dude is laying in her lap or whatever i guess hung over from the night before and this is what i'm overhearing but he's asleep so i'm just overhearing the story but i'm in the back like i'm a couple rows back me and my homegirls not thinking nothing of it we drive like 30 minutes 45 minutes to our excursion and like we get to the excursion y'all guess sits up jason hey y'all jody here thank you so much for clicking on today's video remember to like comment and of course subscribe see me mind y'all i'm rose behind so i say jason and he turn around and he just look at me so now he hurry up and he gets off of the bus. So now as he's getting off the bus, my cousin's like, what the f you about to do? What the fuck he doing here? Who is that bitch? I'm hearing all these things. Mind y'all, I'm processing because, right, what the f is this bitch? So when we get off the bus, but mind y'all, we are in Mexico. We are not about to go to Mexican jail. That's what we're not to do. So before we get off the bus, because they're off the bus already, by the time we get off of the bus, I don't know what kind of Spider-Man shit he didn't did with him and this bitch, but they're already like nowhere to be found. So I'm telling my, my cousins, I'm like, y'all, cause you know, we gonna ride at dawn. Y'all, we are not going to Mexican jail. She's, th the girl still don't know what's going on. I'm in rage at this point because now I got so many questions. So, because was I not talking to you yesterday because your bitch ass was on the flight? Was you on your flight on your way here? Have you been here? So the excursion was broken up into two parts. You could go zip lining or you can go ATV and, and zip lining. We go ATV in and we ATV in and we can't even focus. Everybody's fuck off because this nigga got fucked up and in the midst of fucked up, he got us mood ruined. Everybody attitude. Everybody mad. I'm pissed off. I didn't cry a little bit, but I had to get my tears out because when I get back to the zip lining. In my mind, like I'm calming myself down because I'm not going to Mexican jail. I refuse, I, I'm not getting put on the no-fly list. So I already knew I couldn't trip now because I'm gonna go to jail. And if I just so happen to run into him in the airport, I couldn't trip there because I'm not going on the no-fly list. I got places to go and people to see and things to do. You feel me? So when we get back, we we um, get him back and we pulling up to the zip line thing. And so they end up taking a truck to wherever the zip line is, but we rode our ATVs there. So when we getting off the um, ATVs, I guess they had told the hotel that they had to go because he was sick coincidentally. So mind y'all, we disappeared. He knows I'm here. This bitch still don't know who I am. She thinks that she's living in bliss. And I would hate to be the bitch to ruin someone's honeymoon because you, you couldn't have known, especially if you just walked down the aisle with this man. They're standing there and we pulling up. We riding, we riding and they're like standing. So we get off our, um, we get off our ATVs and then before they could get in the truck, they like standing there just talking face to face like this. And I chuck a water bottle. Like I just throw the water bottle and it like missed, but it went right between them. And then they look. So by that time I'm looking, cause I want you to say something. And he just like, um, he just like, just get in the car, just get in the car. She's like, and she like, he like, just get in the car, just get in the car. They probably drunk. We on vacation. We don't got time for this. So I'm standing there and I'm like, you don't got time for this. You're not going to tell her we've been in a relationship for a year. Is that a ring on your finger? Because at this point, I don't know they're married. Is that a ring on your finger? 
But by this time, by the time he's saying this, she's getting in the van. So they start arguing and the van pull off. So boom, this is how I found out what resort they were at. So I'm the only one up. They went to sleep after we got on the bus. So like they're not hearing what everybody's talking about. And we had met these other dudes and they sat at another resort too. At the same resort they were staying at too. But when we get back to the resort, they're like, oh, what we doing? I'm like, well, they were talking about this pool party. They don't know it's the resort that this nigga is at. My 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 dude is at. They don't know. They're going in blindsided. I'm ambushing them. I don't need nobody trying to stop me on no. I am on bullshit. I may seem calm because I don't want to go to um, jail in Mexico. But at the same time, in my mind, I'm trying to rationalize, like, is Mexico jail even that bad? Now I have service. He was already back at the room because he went back sick. So, my phone, he was blowing my phone up. Destiny, please, please don't do this. Like, I'm sorry. Like, it's not what you think it is. Mary, not what I think it is. I think you married and I don't fuck with married men. I think you married and you have been tricking me. Like, Ain't no way I'm out here getting tricked like this. I'm so sorry you don't understand. Let me explain. You All you seen was a ring and you start flipping and crashing out. And even though it was a low key crash out, you still, I already know you. What you, what you about to do? Don't ruin our night. This supposed to be her honeymoon. It's giving very much, Tasha, I just lost the love of my life. and all I wrote back and said was I'll see you later that's all I said and I blocked him and we go to the hotel they, my cousin still don't know he still don't know that I know what hotel they at but I guess he got inkling and I guess they wasn't vibing These are just my, this is just my speculation because I do know because they never came downstairs I could tell you that I could tell you why it wasn't a sign of them that's unfortunate on your honeymoon. So we at the airport leaving and I'm in the bathroom and I'm walking and all I feel is somebody grab my arm and he like, Destiny, please let me talk to you. So he grabs my arm and I'm like, get fuck off of me. Let me go. And he like, let me explain, let me explain. I'm like, so now let me ask a couple questions. If you knew I was Mexico, why the would you come to Mexico? And he goes, her parents gifted us this and told they already had our bags packed and this is where they sent us. I knew that you were coming out here, but I didn't know exactly where you were going because I never told him if we finalized on Cabo, if we finalized on Tulum. He just knew I was going to Mexico and he just knew where I was going. But like, it never came up where I was going. I was just talking about Mexico. Like, you know, like dudes be there, but they don't really be there. So I wasn't going to get all my questions answered there because I'm so and so as he's explaining to me all these things, like tears just running down my face. But I'm like, you know what? Because like, I believe you at the day, like you're married. And that's all I keep saying is like, you're married. Like he's still explaining you're married. Like, are you married? He's still not trying to tell me like that he married. He's still not telling me this, but like, I'm looking at his finger. Like I grab his wrist and I'm like, you have a ring on your finger. Like, Jason, like you're married and you sitting in my face trying to manipulate me and gaslight me into thinking it's something that it's not. And if it wasn't for going on the no fly list, if it wasn't for being in the middle of this airport, how'd you even, how'd you even see me? He was like, I seen you coming in because they flew a different airline. I'm flying on Delta and they're on JetBlue. So he seen me walking in and then he like stalked me stalker where's your wife where's your wife now i'm yelling like where's your wife so now that i'm yelling he like like shit like destiny and i'm like you might want to get out of my face because it's going to go left and i don't have time for this i will see you when we land back home maybe mind y'all he's still blocked so we depart in the terminals and then i get on the flight and a week later there's a knock on my door so boom, I go to the door. I look out the peephole. It's about 
I look out the peephole, I can't see nothing. So I know it's him because he always covers the peephole when he comes over, right? You walk up and down this street all day playing. You think he playing about his money? Because why are you why are you playing in my face with your finger over this peephole? It's been a week. And the reason why it's been a week is because he's been emailing me. He's been writing me on social media. And I have been ignoring out of him. He had to wait a week because when I got back from vacation is the week I have my kids. So now you have to wait a week. You're blocked though, right? So when I open the door, I open it and it's him standing there with some flowers. And he's like, Desi, I'm sorry. And I slammed the door in his face because if you think it's going to be that much, see? Now I'm going to open this door again because I'm nosy. I'm not, I'm never going to be the type of bitch that be like, I just blocked him and that was the end. Oh no, I have questions and I need answers. So I open the door back up and he, this man is in full blown tears. What are you crying for, Jason? I'm all out of tears. I'm not crying no more. So now you're just going to get the bitch in me because, and did you come over here with your wedding ring on? So now we're standing at the door and I'm like, what are you doing here? Like, where's your wife? It is 8.30 PM. Why do you have flowers and is she aware that you're standing at my door right now and he's like don't worry about her Jason you're already off to a fucking start I'm worried about the marriage how long so now we going back and forth back and forth because don't tell me not to worry about no money and how long have were y'all engaged he goes, I met you two years into our engagement. So they were engaged for four years because they couldn't get it together, I'm guessing. Oh, I already had a week to prepare not putting my hands on anybody. But I was absolutely prepared to snatch someone's lips off their face. So now I'm like, just step in because I am not about to be the apartment drama. You, you're not about to get me. So he steps in, I close the door. He's not there for long because fuck do you have to say so he's he's apologizing to me he's trying to let me know so i'm like how long have you known her he's like this is my high school sweetheart bitch he was my sneaky link this whole year like week that i had my kids is the week that he got married that weekend and, and then he was on his honeymoon in mexico the week that i didn't have my kids. so he explaining all this to me and i'm just looking at him because like you really strategic with this you're sick mind y'all our anniversary was a month before this, our one year anniversary, right? Like we have been dealing with each other for a year and we said, I loved you for the first time a month ago, a month before your wedding, you told me I loved you is what I'm telling him. He's like, have you ever been in love with two people? And I just had to like, I snatched his, like, I had to like just grab his lips because please shut up. And I'm like, Jason, I need you to go. Because now you're just saying any and everything because you're spiraling. And if you don't, I don't want to really put my hands on you because I've moved past that in my life. Like I moved past it, but I will turn back around. And now I'm, now I'm crying again because now it's just like, this is too much. Like I thought I could handle this conversation. I, don't know. I thought that after a week, but I thought I could handle this conversation. But now I'm just crying and I'm irritated. The fuck are you crying for? So now he's leaving and as he's walking out the door, like I hold, I just hold the door open. Like I'm, I start crying. I just hold the door open because make your exit, please. Like I already snatched your lips off your face. Just go. So he turned around and he's like, Destiny, I'm sorry. And I know you probably don't ever want to talk to me again, but I just hope we could leave this here and just move on and, you know, forgive. And I know you're never going to forget. She has forgiven me. And I have explained to her like what was going on and I told her my side. So I just want to leave it at that. Like, sir, you can go to hell, but I pray that your wife finds peace, like in whatever you've told her. So I'm under the impression that she knows and they're on the same page and they're good and they're living in bliss, living their honeymoon life. And all these other things so like i'm not gonna come to her as no woman because i'm gonna just take my l and keep pushing like it's okay like you that i loved like I loved you like i loved you yeah but i'm gonna just take my l and keep going like i was sad trying to move on so like 
a week later, I get a message. So like a week has went by. I have not talked to nobody. It's been radio silence. So I get a a text and it's like, maybe, you know how your iPhone say like, maybe so-and-so. So it's like, maybe Heather. And I'm like, Heather. Open it. I send it to the group chat. And I'm like, go. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, let's talk. You want to talk on the phone or you want to meet in person? And she's like, can you meet me for lunch at 12 on Saturday? And I'm like, yeah, I'll see you there. Get there first. Because naturally, I'm not about to walk into no situation by myself without backup. So my cousins come with me. Duh. Yes, that was my sneaky link. But at the end of the day, like... That was my man, my man, my man. He was sneaky to the world. I wasn't hiding him from the world. I was hiding the world from him. She comes, she sits down, and um, she introduces herself. She's like, hi, my name is Heather, and I remember you in Mexico, and I'm just trying to figure out what happened. Talking to him, he told me that you guys met at a bar when he went out, when me and him were on a break, and it turned into something that he didn't expect. He told me that he'd been trying to break it off with you, but you would not allow him to. And that's why he told me in Mexico that you were delusional and you were crazy. He told me in Mexico that I was what? Your husband's a clown. We just celebrated our one year anniversary and he was helping me pay all my bills. I didn't know anything about you. He never told me that he was on a break from anybody. He just was moving single. But he is correct. It started off something that wasn't serious because for the both of us, like, you no, know, it was something light and fun. Like it was never meant to be that serious. But for him to call me delusional is insane because mamma never gave delusion. This lady's like 10 years our senior. So now I'm like, let me understand something. You guys were on your honeymoon, correct? Because I still have not gotten all the answers from him that I need. We barely had any conversation because he's been blocked. So I'm like, you guys are on your honeymoon, correct? She's like, yeah. So I'm like, how long have you guys been together? She's like, well, we've been together for 10 years. For 10 years. Things were getting a little rocky because he had had a baby on her. So she decided to put a stop to the wedding. So you knew that this, so you knew Jason wasn't shit. So naturally, I'm like, hold on, because we can't just slide past this man having a baby. He has a baby because I'm under the impression that this man don't have a don't have any kids, right? So now, in the midst of me trying to get answers for myself, I'm all in their business because she got all the tea. Like, got a baby on you, and you still decided to marry him, but that's not my business. The baby is one and a half. The two plus two is four, and five plus five is ten this that means you started dating me when your baby was barely six months old and you were engaged already so you're just so i'm like so he's just a serial cheater she's like yes like i met him when he was 18 years old and i was 28 so you knew what you was doing when you was dating the fuck so it comes out that there's more than just me. She ended up going through his phone, going through his text messages. He was still dealing with his baby mama. I like two other girls he was sending money to. She got their number and put it in her cash app and found out that th those was two other girls. She found out about me. She was like, has he ever met your kids? And I'm like, no. And I'm like, how do you even know I got kids? And she was like, I just started looking everybody up on Facebook. Like, I didn't, I'm not here to cause no issues. Like, but I'm, I'm a newlywed finding this information and I'm just looking at her cause I couldn't imagine being a newlywed and not being under the jail. My cousins are sitting in the booth, like right next to us. Like, so the way I'm sitting, I'm looking at my cousins and her back is towards my cousins. So they can hear everything she's saying and I'm saying. So now group chat going up. So then she's like, have you talked to him since you guys have been back? And I'm like, he did come to my house and he's still right now to this day emailing me. She was like, he doesn't know that I know all these things. He doesn't know I went through his phone. Um, he doesn't even know that I'm here right now talking to you. He thinks that I went out with some friends for lunch. Like y'all got too many secrets going on for me in this marriage. 
So she's still asking me questions and it just comes like, we finally like are wrapping up and I'm just telling her like, you know, you don't have to worry about me. Like, I'm not gonna mess with your husband. Like that's your husband at the end of the day. Like he does wanna have a conversation with me and I was not in the space to have one. And I don't know if I'm going to have one in the whole time in my head knowing, oh, I'm about to have a conversation because now I got all this, all this ammo. She's like, I just don't, I, he does not know that I know all these things. Like at the end of the day, I Fuck. you shouldn't have even came over here and acted like we was friends for real because you're still really my op my enemigo like at the end of the day that was still our nigga for a whole year so like i'm i'm you know like but i'm gonna listen because i'm nosy i go to the bathroom or whatever because we about to leave and when i'm coming out the bathroom is like on the other side of the restaurant all i hear is i thought i told you to leave this shit alone Heather, you didn't turn your location off and Jason found you. So now I'm walking out and I'm like, you real loud for somebody who got some explaining to do. Cause now I'm coming up from behind them. And I'm like, I would rip your lips face again. But now since your wife's standing right here, that's her job. And if she gonna let you disrespect her, that's fine. But you already know the get down when it comes to me over here. And he like, man, doesn't he? And you got your cousins here? Yes. Yeah, so are you ready to have this conversation, Jason? Like, are you ready to admit in front of your wife that you married? So are you married or are you not married? Are you using this girl or are you not, Jason? So now he looking at me and he like, yes, this is my wife, Destiny. And I'm like, what the like, you was never going to tell me, like, what's wrong with you? She telling me you got a baby. She telling me it's other bitches. She telling me all these things. She telling me y'all been together for 10 years. Before he even could answer, she was like, what fuck you mean? Claiming me. And after she said that, she just went silent. Like, if I was him, I would have gave that bitch 50 feet. So the way I'm positioned, I'm not really worried because I'm not even on nothing with her. But we fucking jump him. So I'm like, I don't even feel comfortable having no conversation with you in front of your wife. Cause look at your hand, you see that ring? You are you have a wife, Jason. Like, are you not understanding this? This lady standing right here, ma'am, that's your wife. So I'm telling him like, yeah, that baby that you was still begging me to keep two weeks ago via email, I sent it back to God because you're on bullshit. Like, why would I keep your baby and you're married? You are a married man asking me to keep your baby. We could work it out. We could co-parent you. And I'm so sorry. Heather, I'm so sorry you got to hear all this. But time, I could even, like, apologize to her. Like, she had already just swung her purse and hit him upside his head. We just slapped him. And, like, the slap was so loud, we all just got quiet and just looked. And then she walked out and I just looked at him and like, he just shook his head and he walked out the door behind her. Like, so after he walked out, like that was the end of me and him because I don't have nothing else to say. Like you were blocked. I have no ties to you. Good riddance, you peasant. So I didn't talk to him anymore after that day because like I said everything I had to say, I heard everything I had to hear. Like that's just, I'm not going to catch a case because that's exactly what will happen. Like, you keep playing in my face, I'm going to catch a case. And, but I had seen that, like, they were supposed to be getting a divorce because he was on his baby mama. At least that's what her Facebook status said. Like, even though, like, you know that this man's, Jason, you're a dog. You're dirty. Jason's a, you're, you're dirty. Three months later, like, there's a, I come home and there's, like, a edible arrangements bouquet with, like, a letter taped to it. And on the front, it says, I'm so sorry, Jason. And all I can think is like, I'm so sorry, Jason. He must have went to see the lady. Walking up, I'm like, So when I walk up and I finally see the letter, I'm like, do this man wife know he's still sending bitches shit? Like, is he, what is wrong with this man? This is what I'm thinking, right? So then I, I get the edible arrangements and I get the things and I go in the house because I'm gonna eat the fruit. Y'all, this was a $100 bouquet. He got me the blossoming daisies with the strawberries and the pineapples. And he had half of them dipped in chocolate. The big, the large bouquet. Oh, I was going to eat that. Like, what does he actually have to say to me after I caught, like, I basically ruined your honeymoon. Like, from what you've been saying in all these emails. Like, how your honeymoon? How 
the fuck? Why would you even me move? Like, mind you, the emails had stopped because, like, I guess that um, once his wife found out that he was emailing me, she put a stop to that shit. Which is why now I'm guessing three months later, he decided to do this. I'm thinking he went and seen the lady. He on an apology tour. Like, he knows how raggedy he is. This is what I'm thinking. So the card on the edible arrangement said, I'm so sorry. I know I hurt you. I didn't mean to hurt you. Please unblock me. A mental patient. He's a mental patient. So are you sending me anything? And you're married. Like I'm still, that's still the first thought. Where's your wife? That thought has never left my mind since I seen that ring on his finger. Is your wife. Y'all open this letter and this letter say, I know fuck with me. And I know I've said sorry a million times and sorry could not be enough. But I really need you to unblock my phone. I need to tell you something. I cannot move on knowing that I hurt you and that I don't have closure in this situation. Like people are literally sick and insane. So and thank you for the edible arrangements. He will never get a thank you out of me. Fucking should, or as you shouldn't, cause you have a wife. And six months later, you really could have kept that shit. So I'm telling my cousins like, y'all think I should unblock him just to like, he got to say for himself, like, because like at the end of the day, I'm too nosy for my own good. I'm too nosy for my own good. So I'm blocked. And I should have left his ass blocked. All right, y'all. So thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. So these are basically the screenshots you can pause to read um, through the messages. So these men are just something else. Imagine you went out and you married a whole other woman while you're dating somebody else. You mislead the woman for over a year. And then you come with a bullshit, sir. Come on, like be for real. But anyways, um, this is what happened with her experience. Um, have you had any experience like this? I'd love to get your feedback down in the comments section if you're new here remember to subscribe and like the video if you already like the video as per usual guys i thank you so much for watching my name is jody and i aspire to inspire until next time guys what good